understanding the edit icons. In order to add learning activities and resources to your course, or even to change the wording and description in your course sections, you need to have the editing turned on. So let's take a look at that now and see what the editing icons mean and do. We turn the editing on either by clicking the button top right or by going to the administration block and clicking the link Turn Editing On. Icons appear then in the blocks and against each activity or resource which we have. So let's zoom in and take a look at them. Other themes may have different editing icons from these, but they'll be in the same order. The icon to the left of an item allows you to move it up or down by dragging and dropping it. If you can't move items by dragging and dropping, then ask your site administrator to check your settings and the site settings. It's the same crosshairs icon for a block. So here, I'm clicking and dragging to move the administration block above the navigation block. The icon to the right looks like a pencil and if you click it, it allows you immediately to change the title of a particular resource or activity. Then click Enter and you've changed it. Further along, clicking Edit reveals other options. Edit settings will take you to the main editing screen of this resource or activity to update it in more detail. The Move arrow allows you to indent an activity or resource to the right or then back to the left. And the Eye icon allows you to hide an item from students. We'll try this in a moment. With Duplicate, you can make a quick copy of a resource or activity, modifying it then slightly, for instance, for a different class or group. Assign roles and the icon next to Edit relate to roles and groups, something which we won't go into in much detail in this Teaching with Moodle introduction course, but which you can read about in the documentation. The X is for deleting and we can delete blocks as well as resources and activities. So for example, if we go over to the search forums block on the right here and click the small arrow, when we choose X, delete, we're asked if we want to delete this block. And when we click yes, it's gone. In the case of blocks, we can add blocks back again by clicking the add block dropdown, which is at the bottom of your screen, and selecting the block. We'll look at blocks in another video later. Let's now try hiding the announcements from students by clicking that I icon. You can see now that the I has a line through it and the announcements are greyed out. If we go down to the administration block we see switch role to and as the teacher we can switch our role amongst others to a student or learner as we've renamed it in this course. This then redisplays the course page as our students or learners would see it and the announcements are invisible because we've hidden them. So if we go back in the administration block and click to return to my normal role and then remember to turn the editing back on again, we can see that the announcements haven't vanished, it's just that we hid it with the icon. We'll now unhide it again so our learners can read the announcements and get started on the course. And finally, in each section, there's an eye icon to hide that section manually and a light bulb like icon. If you click this, it will highlight that particular section for your students to focus on. The X icon allows you to delete a section and all the activities it contains.